Well, good morning, you two. You're late to the show. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad at all. So obviously, I'm out here doing a crabbing video again. We got four rods out and four lines out. And I say we because I got my grandson with me. Hello. You too. How many we catch? How many did we have we caught so far, Parker? Um, I think three at three. How many so will it go? Um, like two. Two females, yeah, huh? Two females. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One really nice female. So, but yeah, there's our view. Beautiful day up here. If you watched my last video, I told you I was gonna paint my net. I didn't have orange, but I had white. That way it's easy to find. So, all right, we're gonna get at it. Wish us luck. Go. Just like that. Just like that. Boom. I actually thought he let go. Trying to get the pinch here. Oh, he's a dark one. Look how dark he is. Man, not bad. Hey, I also want to get a, a shout out to uh See my hat? Hook, line, and chill. Check out their YouTube channel, his YouTube channel. He runs uh, trot lines and uh, jugs up in Kentucky. And he has pretty women checking them. But I tell you what, it's not about the women either because he plays, uh, they play games. Um, they play for prizes. If they guess the weight, um, they can win up to $500. Every fish put in a boat, $5 goes to charity. So definitely check out his channel he has over 200,000 subscribers so yeah if you guys get a chance check out hook line and chill there man all right let's get back at it all right so I'll try to get over here to show you guys what a bite looks like so when you get a crab on your line it's just like a real fish a little taps like that Just like that. We're gonna check it. Fingers crossed. Got one on here. Don't get off. Boom! A little mail. Yeah, not what we're looking for, but you've seen the bite, and that's what it looks like right there. I can just get some bigger ones. It's one of these days so far, I guess. We've definitely got to pick through them, but there you go. All right, I'm gonna check my rod. I tell you, it's, it's been slow. When I got here, it was a low tide already. Tide should be coming in, but it's pretty much a slack tide. Uh, we've been here maybe two hours and got only five crab. Um, two in the box, and I think we got three females we let go. But it stinks because I got my grandson with me and I wanted to have a good day. But, you know, that's how it works out, I guess. So I'm going to check this rod. Hopefully we got one on here. I got one on if you don't let go. There you go. Not big, but I tell you what. We'll take it right now. Nice little male crab. I'll tell you what, man. Just, I guess you just have to keep working, working, moving stuff around until you find them. But, you know, I'll take it. All right, we'll get back at it. He's moving to the right.
No? Yep. Wait, which one is this? Yours or mine? It's yours. Yes. Here we go. What do you think, Park? Very good. I think we're gonna let him go though. Yeah. Not bad though. Not bad. We've been getting our butts kicked on the lines today, so felt good finally get one in. Alright, so I got a line, but it's all the way over to the right. I can see my chicken, so instead of pulling it in, I'm gonna try to sneak out and see if I can't net it this way. I don't see a crab on there, so. Oh yeah, I see him. It's just a little guy. A little girl, it looks like. Oh my god. Hey, sorry about the camera work. But look, there you go. Oh, a little male. That's how you do it right there. I'd have to mess with the line. I just followed the line out and scooped it. Keep the rod up, big guy. There you go. Don't put that in. Keep your rod up so it don't get stuck. I'm trying. I'm trying. You got crab on there. Keep doing it. Don't stop reeling. Yes. Look at that. That beautiful thing. Look at that. Good job, is that Parker. A male? I think that's a male. Is it a male? It looks like it. Yes, it is. Look at that. What do you think, Parker? <sighs> Did it feel heavy? <laughs> I'm okay. Alright. Look at that. Nice crab. Man, I'm so glad he got one. It's been a while, but he got one. Good job, Parker. Thanks, boy. Have we got crabs on this one? The one beside it had three. There's a crab on it, too. I'm going to help you pick it up above the bush, okay? Let go. Let go. Let go for a second. There is? Yep. Whoa, there we go. Look at that. Crab. Hold the rod, Parker. We'll show everybody. Look at that heavy thing. What do you think, Park? I love it. Is, is, it, is it a male? I think it's a male. Is yep, it? it's a male. Yes, you keep it. Here we go. I got two if I get them in. Look at that. Look at that. Double banger. That's what we're talking about. Dang, man. I thought, man, my drag set too loose. I didn't realize I had two crab in there. Two nice crab. That's what we've been waiting for. Man. That just made my day. All right, let's get back at it. All right, update. Um, tide's starting to move in. Start to pick up some crabs. Uh, we checked, we just checked two rods and had three crabs on them, so. All keepers. So that's actually, actually nice. But there you go. We got seven in the box. I'm not sure if you can see them. Seven in the box. So things are looking good right now, but People are still ask me where I get my traps at. I get my traps, the one with the pocket, you put the chicken in, I get on eBay. The ones without the pocket, I get, a, I get at Bass Pro Shop. So definitely recommend them. Like I said, it makes it easier and it's fun, man. It's like you're catching a fish. All right, we're gonna check King Kong. We call it King Kong because it's a big, heavy rod. So my grandson named it King Kong. I feel like something's on here too, so. Oh yeah, there's two on here. Double banger again. Look at that. Wow. Both nice male. That's what we're talking about. And it started off so slow today. And we stuck with it. And it's paid off. All right, let's get back at it. All right, tide's definitely setting in. 
my little mark or my stake is underwater now. Crab on here, but I tell you what, man, we missed so many crab on the lines today. Almost all our crabs come on the rods, and we had twice as many on the lines. We just can't get them. I'm not sure because this area's been crabbed hard, or I'm pulling in too slow. I tried to pull in really slow. I tried pulling in quicker. I got a darker shirt on today. I have no clue. He just let go. Oh, no, nope, he's back. And the thing is, these crabs aren't like huge, so it's, like, it's not like I say that, but this crab right here looks nice. Man, he looks like a nice crab. Oh man, he let go. Dang, that was a nice crab. All right, well, we just seen the big one get off. You can see my line. I had it out here. It's way over here now. See if I can't sneak up to a little. Oh man, it's a lot of mud here, go figure. All right, no sneaking up. All right, so I'm gonna try to come around the bush here. I'm gonna see if I can outsmart him coming in here. Hope there's no snakes. Oh yeah, I can see the crab. I can see the crab. Oh, he's running, he's running. We got a runner. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I didn't want that. We got a runner. I tell you what, they must have pretty damn good eyesight. I got a boat coming. Let's see if I can't get him. Got him. There you go. There you go. Little jet ski out there. Clean it off. There you go. I'm going to let it go. We'll let it go. Alright, last time I, was, I checked these lines, I actually had two crab on one line. So, so what I did was, I brought another rod over here and put another rod further down. Let's check them. See if it paid off. Nothing on this one. Honestly, I think because the trap's not opening all the way. This is the Bass Pro Shop trap. There we go. Get back out. Let's check this one. Guess what? Crab on. Look at that. There we go. Not bad. This trap so far, the last three times I checked, it's got four crab. All right, checking everything one more time. We're gonna call it a day. I got a crab on here, but 
Tell you what, I missed 90 percent of these traps today, so I'm not getting too too excited. That's how you do it. That's how you do it right there. Man, I don't want to get pinched, but big old female. Look at that. Beautiful female. Look at her claws. All right, we're going to let her go. We'll get back at it. We're checking them for the last time. Nothing on this one. This has been my money rod this week or today. This one's had all the crab on most of my crab anyway. Guess what? Guess what? That's what right there. Boom! That's how you end your day. That is how you end your day right there. For real, man. What started off slow today turned up pretty pretty dang good, man. All right, let's get a, let's get him in the bucket and we'll check one more before we leave. Last ride of the day. Look at that, double banger. What a way to end the day. Oh, that one got off. We're gonna let this one go as well. I believe they're both females. So, what an awesome day. Ended with a double banger. Man, all right. All right, I'm here with Dylan. We just finished our day up. Me and my grandson, as you see, we did pretty well. But uh, Dylan, have you crabbed before? Uh, not recently, no. Yep, so, so we did really well. So what I did was I hooked them up with a bag of crab, or a bag, of, I wish it was crab, <laughs> a bag of chicken, some string, and a net. So he's good to go. And if you decide you like it, five bucks for chicken, you can't beat that. It's yeah. cheap fun, and they're good to eat. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a wrap on today's video. And the reason why I gave that gentleman the chicken, the line, and my net he just got here with his family. I was gonna give him the crab, but instead I figured by giving him the net line of chicken, they can do it as a family. And it's something that they enjoy doing, they'll do it over and over and over, instead of just eating the crab one time. So I felt like that was the right thing to do. So that's why I did it. Um, also, that was a wrap on my day. Awesome day. We ended up, it started off slow, but we ended up getting a lot of crab. So, you know, we threw back a lot. Um, I think we kept maybe, 13, 14, so not a bad day, especially with the grandson. Now I got my grandson out. This is my favorite video, um, just just because you know, I got him out, we got to enjoy the outdoors together. Um, it don't get any better than this right here. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the water. All right, so we stopped at another place. Can't pass an ice cream place up that looks like this. And now stop. All right. Let's see what they have in here. What are you eating, Parker? Chocolate ice cream. Right. Share you guys with you guys. Plenty of options. You might be on camera? That's perfectly fine. 
So how long have you guys been open? Um, we've been open about a year. Um, I started late March, early April. Oh, nice. So I've been here for a few months now. Yeah. Um, if you, and what my, just me and one other girl that works here, but we are under the same ownership as Coney Island. So we get to hang out over there all the time. We get to, you know, talk to them under the same owner. So everything's pretty much very well communicated with each other. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice store. So do you fish? I do. And your boyfriend fishes as well, huh? Yes, he does. I have some pictures. I gotta find them. But I have one of my favorite pictures is from when I caught my biggest trout. Where is it? Oh, I, this is me with my first gar. Yeah. I caught my first gar um, not too long ago. That's pretty cool. And then where is the one with my trout? I gotta find this photo. This is a great photo. What a cool store. Oh, that is a nice trout. My wish last video him. was a trout video, so. I wish I would have kept yeah. him. Well, that's pretty neat. So, what's the location of this store? Um, this is going to be like downtown Brooksville. Um, I don't know the exact address, surprisingly. But, yeah, um, they can look it up, downtown Brooksville. Yeah, we're Frosty Franks in downtown Brooksville, underneath the same ownership as Coney Island, so you type in Coney Island, Brooksville, Florida. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be right next door. Um, under the same owners. Yeah, we're a nice small little ice cream shop. We're not a big corporate company, yeah. so everything is done by hand. Our pints are always packed by hand. Our hand yeah. scoops are always done by hand. Even our milkshakes are done by hand. There you go. You guys are in the area, stop by and check them out.